Hello, <coughs> hello, y y YouTube viewers. This is Blake. This is Blake Fanon. Please listen closely, like, share, and subscribe. Psalm 139 says, Search me, O God, and know me. And and if there be anything, if there be anything in my life. That if if there be anything in the way, remove it. Basically, what what Psalm one thirty nine says is, we need to ask the Lord to search us, and if there be any sin in 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 us, if there be anything in us that keeps us from having a from having a closer walk with. God, we need to ask him to remove it. I repeat, basically what Psalm 139 says is, if there be any, I mean, we need to ask the Lord to search us and know us, and, 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 and if, and if there be any, if there be anything in our way, he needs to remove it. If you are ever up, between 1 and 3 a.m. or between 3 and 6 a.m. And, and, and you spend that time watching TV or Netflix and praying. One, th one thing that you need to pray for is for him to search and know you. And if there be anything, if there be anything in you that would, that, that would keep you from having a closer walk with him, you need to ask him to take it out of you. You need to ask him to search and know you. And if there be anything in the way between you and him having a closer walk together, ask him to remove it when he searches and knows you. But but listen to me. <clears throat> Matthew Matthew 6 says, When we are praying, first forgive anyone we're holding a... First forgive anyone who we're mad or offended at. And, and then, then, after we have done that, we need, we need to, we need to ask the, we need to ask the Lord after that. To search and know us, and and if there be anything in in the way from us having a close relationship and walk and walk with Him, if if there be anything in the way that would keep us from hearing His voice, ask Him to search us and know us. And if there be anything, if if there be anything that keeps us from ha from having a close relationship with Him, we need to ask Him to remove sin, evil, and wrong. From our minds and hearts, ask him to remove fear and unforgiveness and and bitterness and anger from us too. For those of you who have anger problems, when when you pray about that, ask him to remove anger from you. For those of you who have fear, when you Whenever you pray, read these passages, Isaiah chapters 9 and 41, 2 Timothy chapter 1, Mark 11, and 1 John chapters 1 and 4. And, and, and listen, whenever you're praying about sin and evil in your heart, read Psalm 139 and Mark 11 and First John chapters 1 and 4. Because listen, Adam, who was who was the first man, his sin by, by eating what the Lord had clearly told him not to eat, that is what that is what brought sin into into humanity. 
that is why we don't, that is why, that is why none of us have ever, have ever met God Almighty on the street. We need to, we need to ask him to remove sin from our life, to search us and know us, and if, and if there be anything in the way that would keep us from hearing his voice, having a relationship with him, having, having peace from fear, and having our prayer answered, we need to ask him to remove it every day. And, and, and again, that verse I mentioned is in Psalm 139. I hope I hope this video helps you. If it does, please let me know in the comments below. And one other thing, the very best time to pray about this type of thing is between 1 and 3 a.m. or between 3 and 6 a.m. Thank you.